Hi, I'm Shay. Welcome to my channel. I'm a blind YouTuber and I thought today would be a good time to see if I could do a smoky eye look. I'm not completely blind, but I am legally blind. And if you hear an echo, it's because I'm doing this in my bathroom. It's nighttime and well, obviously there's not a lot of natural light and this is the best I could do. Those ring lights are super expensive. I So you make do with what you have essentially. So before I went, before as legally blind, I used to really be into makeup and finding like the best products and essentially just having my makeup just on par with all of these big YouTubers. That's how good I was with it. I was thinking if I stay in that mindset, I'll never get better at it. So this is essentially me trying by memory of how to do a traditional smoky eye. I'm not talking about that um, three shadow, no, three to four shadows that we that you would use for your whole eye and to kind of make it like a gradient where it's light closest to your nose and then it's darker on the outer parts of your eyes. So I was going to try do this by memory. I didn't watch any videos. I just remembering this one tutorial, this one easy tutorial by Makeup Geek, Marlena, of, it must have been about almost 10 years ago that she did a kind of that bombshell smoky eye and she used maybe about three shadows. So I thought I would use this palette, um, Dior. It's the undressed one. I don't know if they make it anymore, but it's what I have. Again, excuse the echo. I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> so, yes, I am legally blind. I'm not completely blind. I see some color and everything's blurry, but I'm still blind. <laughs> it's a spectrum. As Molly says, it's a spectrum. So I'm going to use these, oh, sorry. I'm going to use these four colors, or five colors. Maybe just four of them because this one at the top right corner looks kind of white. It could be wrong, but it looks white and seeing as I'm a deeper skin tone, that's gonna look very odd. So I'm going to take a flat shader brush and douse it in color on both sides because if I flip that brush, then I'm kind of like not doing much, you know. Oh, if you're wondering how blind I am, I have a video on that. I could link it in the description box down below. Just so people watching this aren't thinking like, yeah, whatever, she's just making it up. <laughs> I assure you I'm not making anything up. Honestly, here's hoping that this eyeshadow palette's pigment enough that the dark brown, or at least it looks dark brown to me, is actually working. And it's not just like a sheer color. <laughs> and if there's fallout, it's okay because I have a brush here with, uh, with some concealer on it that I could just, well obviously I'll use a tissue to wipe off any excess and then go over it with a concealer brush. Okay. 
Hey, I can make, <laughs> I can make another video. Get unready with me. Because <laughs> usually I don't use a lot of makeup. Or a lot of eyeshadow. And I had taken, sorry, I had taken two of the colors on the right side, the right corner and on the middle. I just blended them together. And just put it in the crease. Go over one more time on my eyelid. I'm going to use that pink shadow that's on the top right corner and put it in the, I think it's pink, it's like a light peach, light pink. I don't have lenses in my eyes, so, because of complications. So if it's a different color, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my pinky for it. My pinky and my ring finger. It's just easier to use my pinky instead of maybe a cotton bud or another brush. Because if I use another brush than those um, two brushes I already used, it's going to, I feel like there's a greater chance that I'll end up grabbing one of my crease brush and then ended up putting it in the corner of my eye, which I'm not look, going for this vampiric look. So <laughs> that's also why I use my pinky for the corners of my eyes when I try to do that highlight trick. Go under my eyebrow with that pink shadow. Just tie it all together. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go in with my little concealer brush that I use and just clean up any of the under eye. And I do have a partner who checks for any kind of mistakes or like mascara blobs or maybe there's some shadow left under my eye. I have him check for that. You remember that trend that was like, I did my makeup in the dark, I was completely blind and it was just like, the reason why you couldn't find good eyeshadow palettes is because you have like what, four drawers full? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and then my mascara and I will, and I'm going to use this tiny detail brush to smudge it out. So I quickly washed my hands so I wouldn't get any eyeshadow or eyeliner smudging the corners and making more of a mess than I need to. <laughs> so I'm going to take this small Real Techniques detail brush and smudge out my eyeliner. I don't pull out, when I smudge out my eyeliner, I don't pull on my eye. I just um, hold the corner where, hold the corner of my eye where my orbital bone is. So, so the lid of my eye, so my eyelid doesn't move around and then it becomes more, um, it's not cohesive as I want it to be. 
so that's why I do that and I'm gonna go in with my mascara <laughs> uh, get my partner to see if I have any mascara blobs or um, fallout from my eyeshadow under my eyes you know what I realized when I went blind and I was so sad that I thought I couldn't do my makeup anymore because as I said at the beginning of the video I loved makeup so much and then my eyesight <laughs> went to shit but you can do your makeup it just it might be a little more difficult but you can still do it and I'm going to have my partner check my makeup and I will be right back so I had my partner check my makeup for any mascara blobs or any kind of excess eyeshadow underneath my eyes I put on this pink liquid lipstick from Quo that's I think that's a it's sold at Shoppers Drug Mart if you're Canadian and this is essentially that bombshell look that Marlena did like years ago and my partner said that it, I did a pretty damn good job I'll just Oh, this was from uh, memory and it's not very difficult to do it's just you need one small compact full of either three or four eyeshadows four eyeshadows if you want that little accent in the corner and on your brow bone and uh, the darkest color for your lid uh, the two kind of medium shades for your crease to blend out that dark brown or black. I don't have a black eyeshadow palette that I could use. I just have these kind of brown mid-tone colors. Oh, I did uh, my makeup. I did the same as my get rid of it with me that was like an hour long. <laughs> it's because it wasn't just uh, get ready with me it was also to help anyone who was blind or legally blind how to do their makeup and I hope this was at least entertaining or that you really don't need a mirror to do your makeup you essentially just need another person as long as you could do all of this by memory and you could you're really you're relatively confident in the eyeshadow palette that you have and I hope this was an informative and fun video for you to watch and um, why not subscribe like and leave a comment and I will see you in the next one for a blind girl tries bye